<laughs> What's up, gang? Hope everyone's having a good day so far. Uh, give me just one quick second. I see everyone typing in the chat already. Damn. It's like I kind of got to schedule this out or something. Huh. Well, otherwise, <laughs> Mr. Chucklin behind the camera. All right. I don't know if this is a little a little dark. I don't know if I need like an extra light. It looks it looks a little too dark. Yeah. All right. What's going on, everybody? Good afternoon. Today is March 27th, exactly one week from the last stream. Am I going to stream a little bit more? I don't know. Maybe. But um, again, we're playing Hell Divers today. It's just one of my favorite games so far. Kind of getting away from the brain rot that is Call of Duty. Um, nothing but one of the finest streams. I appreciate you, Juno. You are one of the finest people out there. What up, Ernie? What's up, B? Speak you, B. Mike, listening from Taiwan. What's up, bro? Yo, Jason, my man, bro. I love you, Jason. You are the most, like, humblest guy out there. We got to kick it sometime soon, for real. Like, we really do. I miss you, brother. Um, what's up, CQ Speed? Democracy, brother. That's exactly what's up. Been waiting to play Helldivers. It's a really good game for $40. If you guys got PS5 or Steam, that's literally what it is. Am I, um... Am I a little dark? Like on my my end, it looks a little dark. I might have to get like a light or something. Hold on. <clears throat> if you guys ever get into content creation, these little lights right here, they're like twenty, thirty dollars e each. Ooh, let me see. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. You can tell that this is the lights that I use for the background there. A little more tan last time. I don't know if this is too bright. I don't know. Hold on. Let me just double check real quick. I'm just going to check the... Uh, it's not too, too bad. <laughs> but that looks a little weird, too. Um, one monitor always looks different from the other. All right. Well, sorry, boys. Um, I'm sure the light will adjust itself over time as it did last stream. Um, but again, I hope you guys are having a good one. Um, let me just go through the chat here. There's a few things I did want to talk about. And I think one of the most important topics is where the NorCal scene is at. You guys have, um, probably seen me talk a little bit about this and no, again, you know, I'm just going to state this right now. There's no hate or anything against the NSL or anybody who plays it or is involved with it. It's just the organization and everything else in between that kind of just isn't where it needs to be at this time. It, I understand where they're trying to come from, but at the same time, you know, it's up to us as a community to try and hopefully work around those issues and, you know, get it to where it needs to be. Um, but it has to come down to um, understanding and realization with everyone involved. I think that's that's one of the ways we got to do it. Right. Anyways, um, hope you guys are having a good one. Today's stream was brought to you in part by. Nepro Speedsoft. Check them out when you guys get a chance. As some of the Cubbysoft guys have split off um, due to conflict of interest. That's literally what it comes down to. And they made Nepro Nepro. Check them out. They have Speedsoft gear. They have paintball gear as well as some tactical Nelson gear. Um, they're still working on a lot of aspects within their gear. But mostly on the Speedsoft side, they pretty much got it down. The same exact elastic M4 pouches that you've seen with Cubbysoft. Same deal with Nepro, but better right use code fernie for five percent off and then of course my og sponsor blowback masters use code tater for five percent off you guys already know what it is uh, i need some fog lights or something do you mind helping me build a high cap in time yeah just message me on instagram and i'll get back to you bro i got you whatever you need i got you so uh we're on hell divers today we're gonna go ahead and take a look um i know there's a lot of shit going on with the automatons because we got the major order if you guys have played Usually there's a guy that's literally a game master that's controlling the entire board here, which is really cool. You get like a like a Dungeons and Dragons aspect of this entire live game, mind you. And I play this shit at night all the time. So we're going to play on the Terminids side because honestly, I've gotten really used to it. I used to play on the Automatons for like the month of like the first half of March. And now we're playing for the second half of March with the Terminid side. So what was I at? Oh, okay, so it looks like the planet I was just on last night was liberated. And I'm going to go on a planet that has at least more people. So this has at least a thousand more. So I'm going to go on Hellmire. 
<laughs> got to advertise to 13 people. No hating. 15 people now. What's up? 15. I right. <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying yourselves here. Now, I did. Uh, let's see. Let me just double check here. Um, you guys already know what it is. Thank you for coming out to the stream. It's going to be at least an hour stream going to the discussion of today's topic of the NSL. Now, before I do that, let me go ahead and pick out. Hmm. Does Demo play Helldivers? We need to get that guy on Helldivers. Get off Cobb, bro. Come on. Get on Helldivers. Let's play. Liberate some people. <laughs> I know that dude streams on Twitch all the time. Um, these are basically all the same missions. Like, do I really want to do this? Sure, I'm just going to go on a map that's a little bit more sunny. Locate and destroy terminal structures. So I think that's going to be a little bit easy for democracy as I'm talking to you guys on stream. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so while that loads, let me just go ahead and pull this up. And... All right, so... You guys already know i mean if you guys have been to the norcal scene lately uh it's i feel like in my opinion it's been pretty stale now again this isn't hate to anybody this isn't um something to where i'm gonna have a discussion about what you know you should do and shouldn't do no no no, no. everybody should do their own thing everybody should do whatever they want and that's the beauty of airsoft i hate when people have to gatekeep and feel like you have to play in a specific order or way you know um because that's how it originated or that's how it sh it's meant to be played. No, just play however you feel like. That's it's like literally that's it. As long as you do the objective and most of all importantly, have fun. That's it. That's it. That's it. Um, I had a few shots before coming out to the stream. So, I'm, you know, <laughs> but um, there's an ad midstream. No way. <laughs> Oh, man. You know, it's funny. It's funny. Ever since YouTube started implementing um, laggy, uh, like a laggy um, internet or like laggy speed for people who use Adblock, um, I've been seeing more revenue. So I apologize. Yo, I'm thinking about getting a, a CQB sniping. How does it go? Damn, Papa John's. My bad. <laughs> Be sure to get your Papa John's. Sponsored. Sponsoring your boy. Be sure to use code Fernie for 5% off on your next large Supreme Pizza. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so you can be Simon. There's a lot of ways you can definitely get into it. Um... <laughs> yeah, like I was like, what the hell am Monopoly go at? <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. I'm trying to test out something real quick. Um, oh, look, now I'm losing viewers. I apologize. But look. Um, so yes, uh, oh, let me just double check here. I'm just going to go to extraction zone. Seems like it's the best way to go about it. And I'm going to pick that, pick that, and I'll pick that. I'm going to wait for people, but, um, yes, the NorCal scene, <laughs> the NorCal scene has been pretty still in my opinion for the past year and a half to two years. And why is that? Well, we haven't really gotten CQ, SpeedQB up here, and it's been about two years since they were last up here. And I think the last event they actually had at Sac County, or NorCal rather, was January or February of 2022. That's two years from now. Damn. Kind of puts that into perspective. But ever since then, it's just been kind of, you know, some syndicate here and there, which has been kind of cool. But now they're solely based in CQB City. Um, which, you know, whenever John and the rest of those guys can never do it, they're working on the arc really hard, so I don't blame them. Um, and of course we have homegrown tournaments, you know, the 4v4, which I felt like was pretty cool. They had a really good layout now that I was rewatching my old video from August or September. Um, when, whenever, whenever it was when I was using the arc and demoing that at that time, but it was really fun. I really liked that, um you know that small tournament it brought everyone together that's basically what it is yeah nsl which is cool but it's not for everybody and it's not for newer players it's not friendly to those who are still new to the scene because you got all these arbitrary rules and you got all these things that these players have to do because they treat it as a real sport they really take themselves seriously and i think that's where they shoot themselves in the foot just a bit um and because of that SCA has been so focused on the NSL um, for so long, it doesn't 
seem like they were interested in you know holding any other type of events aside from their own event i know adam just barely joined on so you know he's he's working very hard to make all of this happen um and you know with other people in the community to try and get other leagues out there speaky bees coming back but i'm going to get back to that in a bit uh which is cool because like i said we've been stale for so fucking long and i've seen people practicing for the nsl and then they end up burning out and it's not um it's not something that you know i could see people continuing on and you know having the nsl last the way it is and like the way it is now it's like i talked about the last stream right oh nsl is bad for norcal and the tournament airsoft in general in my opinion it's limiting a lot of growth in other tournament locations and i think that's literally what it comes down to right you got nsl you got a lot of other things which is great it's great but and then you have this layout that's been sitting <laughs> you have the layout that's been sitting there for at least at least several months right it's the same layout for the nsl they don't want to move it i got to talk to adam or or troy or something um and that was something i forgot to ask troy the other day when i was having a discussion but the layout is just crazy why do we need that layout we need to switch it up every now and then we know the event is over why can't we just switch it up i know c tier is coming up in what like a few weeks but even then we can always just move it back that's what the tape is there for right just to kind of have it uh, excuse me just to kind of have it in the specific places where the nsl format is and it's weird seeing all of those um bunkers being sponsored by a specific company or brand or whatever it might be you got la kappa vatios monk whatever that's it's kind of weird to me in a way because it's just you look at nsl right you look at nsl it's it's all solely based on a business on a business model because if you look at monk customs monk customs used to work how do they grow how do they grow right they grow they were growing because they worked with a lot of brands in the beginning they don't disclose that no one really knows unless you're out there and involved with the community out there in the netherlands but they were working with euro tactics they were working with mac customs right who helped to make those skeletonized monk bodies and now that monk customs has their own stuff they pretty much dropped them they have the esg grip drop euro tactics they were working with uh, hk army whatever happened with them I don't know. I don't. I only hear rumors, so you can't, you can't, uh, you can't blame me for that. And it's spending, uh, you know, around what I've been hearing. But it's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and get into it because no one else is coming in. <clears throat> oh, Monk only grew because they worked with companies, and that just went e ours now. Yeah, Kit Kat. Oh man, do I need it? <laughs> I am so sorry. I need to take these ads off. I apologize, guys. Whopper, 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 Junior, Junior, Whopper, Triple Dope. No. Okay. So, I ain't got no ads. Shut up, myth. Big chillin'. Come back from attorney in Texas. Mod privilege. I ain't got no ads. My oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. <clears throat> um, losing my train of thought a little bit here. Hold on, because I gotta kill all these guys. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Serious business, bro. I really gotta. Helldivers ad actually this time. What the fuck? Let's go. How am I not hitting, dude? I'm I'm like literally four shots in. Uh, get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! There we go. He's dead. He's dead. I only got four rockets left. That's crazy. All right, boys. Um, before I continue with the conversation, what is something you guys have goals for this year or even this spring, summer? What are you guys trying to do? You guys trying to enter a tournament? You guys trying to win one? There's Speaky B coming to Texas again next month. HTK, I think, is having the finals in uh, 
in in April as well. Um, you got May coming around the corner, which Speaky B is coming up to SCA. So it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice to see all these events happening. Other than just NSL, right? I don't see anymore. Must be over here. Playing and refing more NSL. Yeah, dude, get that experience. Get that. Get that knowledge. Get that. You know, community time. Um, I really wish I can hang out at the field a little bit more. Oh, I got more people joining. Nice. Hold on. I really wish I had more time on the field and. Typically, that would just be if I move closer, but I don't want to move to Stockton. Man, this guy's jamming. I have no rockets? Shit. Alright, hold on, boys. We got this. We got this. We got this. I gotta dish the... Made the mistake last time. Oh! Uh! Got him. You see that fucking 720 no scope? Let's go, boys. I'm trying to get out of Cali again, man. All right, so oh, this guy's glitching. Did he leave? Oh, he left. Okay, that's okay. It's whatever. It's whatever. Right. Um. Yeah. So NSL's got a lot going on for it, which is cool. And you know, last season they had a bunch of fields that they were attending to: uh, HTK, Miami, um, Rhode Island, Extreme Airsoft, right, and then us SCA. And I think that was only. Oh, shit. I keep fucking up. Um, so, NSL had all these fields. And whatever happened, I'm pretty sure there was some conflict of interest between the field owners and the organizers of NSL. Because now, this season has only come down to two fields. And there was uncertainty about what fields were going to be, you know, applicable for teams to compete in for this current season. Now is like all the buzz late last year, right? So, this is from my understanding. I mean, if there's more to it, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But... Um, oh, hold on. The fuck sneak up on me like that? The fuck is wrong with you? Oops. Oh, fuck. I killed myself. That's retarded. Um, NSL is new in the USA and I think it'll get better. It's just growing through a growing pain. And I feel like that could be it too. Um, you know, Speaky B went through the same thing directly after COVID. Um, and CSL kind of did, but now people are seeing, you know, the, oh, he died. Um, people are seeing, you know, the positive side of things when it comes to the community. I, my, my, my gripe or my ick is not so much as NSL, but it is, um, where's my jetpack? Oh, it's all the way out there. Um, it is the, uh, field. It's, it's the field and the people who run the field, the focus, and their main focus was the NSL, which hindered a lot of growth for the current community. Um, and it was just unfortunate that there's just all there is is just one league. Um, honestly, I just want to chill and just vibe and play. Oh, fuck, I died. You know, when I play tournaments, I just want to vibe. That's all I want to do. Uh, and yeah, you can get that at the NSL, but um, it seems like the latest events kind of stirred some feathers, unfortunately. Um, and I don't know if that is going to be um, something that will keep the interest of the community. Oh, hold on, sorry. I'm, just, I'm trying to like revive this dude. I'm just oh my fucking god. We got this, 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 we got this. He ain't gonna get me. Reload, 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 reload. Shoot, shoot, shoot. 
Jump out the way. Shoot. Oh, he hit me. He hit me. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Push him back. Shot shotgun pushes him back. That's a quick tip. Where is my jetpack? To my left. Five minutes. It's whatever. And then this guy, charger. Nope. Oh, okay. So I didn't quite make it, but. Once I get that jetpack, I'm going to use the big one. You only pushed him? I didn't shoot him. Low-key, the best was when I was playing in the syndicate. Ah. Okay, pick this up. This up! Oh! A guard dog? No, I thought I got the fucking... Wait, this isn't mine. Yeah, this isn't mine. Shit. Yeah, I don't think this is mine. I think someone took. I think the other guy took my jetpack. Shit. Because I did not get this. Don't reload there, bro. Yeah, we're fucked. We're fucking cooked. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I can't even move. I can't even do anything. No. I'm too slow. Um, okay, so let me go back in the chat real quick. Because um, I'm kind of everywhere right now. And... Um, Yo, is it a skill issue? If it's a growing pain, it's not allowing GoPros and having more restricted rules than other leagues. That's more like permanent back pain. Honestly, that does sound kind of spot on. Um, and I've tried to have that discussion with Fives, and I know other people have tried to have that discussion with Bert. Um, you know, and whatever you feel for, like I said, whatever you feel for the NSL, that's cool. That's all you, man. I, I, like, more power to you, right? But with the focus on the NSL and the NorCal scene specifically has definitely sidelined a lot of uh, other leagues and events that we could potentially could have had already. Why is this not fucking hitting? There we go. Jesus fucking Christ. We need to hit one more. We need to hit one more somewhere. Where's my support weapon? Oh, okay. I was going to say. Oh, shit. Cool, 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 cool. He's still following me. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. He ain't gonna get me here. Yep. Told you. All right. Gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, there we go. Had to do that dive. <laughs> Freedom, motherfuckers. This is what it's all about. All right, let's go. Um... Oh, I see another hole. Sorry, boys. This, this game has just really got me focused right now. Um, oh, fuck. Hold on. I got to reload. Bro, where you at? Died. I died, I died, I died. Low key, the best was when I was there playing in a syndicate. I was having hella fun and was the most fun I've had in airsofting since I started. Also, Fives has taken over the NSL from Bert, and it's a learning process for him as well as he's new to running the ship. But at the same time, we need new rules. Yes, yeah, so I feel like this season it was probably going to have to suffer just a little bit so that way. The boat can steer its ship right. Um, oh, I got more people now. Finally. Jesus Christ. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, 
Where's my um? Oh, my jump pack is like right here. Good, 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 good. No, that's not it. No, it's over here. Ah, okay, okay. Everything's over here. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. We got this, boys. We got this. Extraction's right there. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nothing's available. What's up, Ben? How you doing, bro? Everyone, look, this is what I was talking about earlier. Blowback Masters for all your high cap and G-series parts. Be sure to use code TATER for 5% off. Ben is in the house. I always love Ben, bro. We, oh my God, like he's been there. He's been there with me since day one. That's what I appreciate about Ben the most. I, will, I can never leave his side. Anyways, um, Ben, I hope you're having a good one, bro. I'm just over here just trying to vibe and just chill. Um, talk a little bit about the NorCal speed or speed scene, but I hope you're doing well out there. How's Helldivers? They're just grinding on Overwatch. Uh, Helldivers is awesome, bro. It's very wholesome. You play with a lot of teams. There's no toxicity and, most importantly, no brain rot. So we're, we're actually out here. We're good. We're good. We're good. Why is there so many fire tornadoes, bro? <laughs> Uh, I can't even call anything right now. This is just what I got. Why is there a fire tornado right there? Ugh. It's like I got to chill on the side or something. Why? Why is there a fire tornado in in the middle of extraction, bro? <laughs> yeah, man. I hope you're having a good one. I can't wait to see those gas blowbacks in inventory soon. That's gonna be wild. Um, yeah, I want to get it, but I don't want to do it on my current PC. You need a faster one to enjoy the graphics. Uh, what did I buy? This, the one I'm currently running it on right now is my uh, an, an Amazon. Oh my god, they're flying. Uh, it's an Amazon computer that I bought for like 1300 a year ago. It runs pretty well. I think it's got like a 3060. Um, redesign of the site. Oh my god. Can't wait to see it, bro. That's going to be fucking awesome. GPU. Yeah, I don't even know what my GPU is. Do you can run a you can run a so right now you can run a 4060. Oh shoot. Okay, we're good. We're good. We made it. We made it. Get in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Cuz we want to rewatch the cool shit that happened in the first person POV is is better than the stream. 1080 Ti Founders Edition, the silver medal. Dude, bro, I am running a TI, uh, 1080 Ti in my upstairs computer. The one, the main computer that I use to edit with, that's what I'm running Helldivers on. Um, granted, I am running at least 120 gigs, but all you need is like at least 32. At least 32 gigs in a clean hard drive and you're set, bro. That's it. That's all you need. Um, I think you're running Intel, I'm assuming. 1080 Ti. Yeah, because I have the exact same one. It still hits for real. Just not these new games. <laughs> bro, the 1080 Ti, you're sleeping on it, bro. Don't overclock it. I don't even overclock mine. It's nice. That's what we're where we're at right now. Um, but high cap of content is definitely coming back in the spring, summertime when the weather gets a little bit more warmer and I can run gas mags more efficiently. Damn. Yeah, I was thinking about upgrading piece by piece. That's, that's the beauty of PCs, bro. That's the beauty of PCs. We can just run it and just do what we can. Um, so, yeah. So, overall, um, NorCal scene has been a little bit stale. And, again, that's just primarily because of the focus on the NSL. And that's not the NSL's fault. Uh, but there are a th few things I do want to get into that um, at some point. Uh, just kind of talking a little bit about the organization and the field that we have. So Sac County Airsoft was run by at least one person. There was some conflict of interest in the very beginning when they first opened, uh, which kind of deterred a lot of um, interest and events. So we had Speaky B at the very beginning, and now they weren't there. Um, again, there was more conflict of interest that occurred, and it just kind of made the whole scene stale. So there's really not much to look forward to. We had an SL that happened in late 2022 when they first debuted in the United States at our field specifically, and then they kind of just grew from there. Um, it's you know it is a lot of work. It is a new league, um, but I feel like if they, the way I see NSL is it's it's ran on a business model, right? It's all just straight business. Um, 
that's all NSL is. You see now they're not even competing at a lot of um, you know fields this year. There's no HDK. There's no Miami Airsoft Field. It's only it's only um, what is it? Uh, sorry, SCA, which is our field in Sacramento, and there's the other field in Rhode Island, Extreme Airsoft. They have the field for it. They have the luxury of hosting a lot of events there. And I like Extreme Airsoft. I think that's a really great location. But there was a lot of you know drama behind the scenes. I don't know too much about it, but it's what I keep hearing from different players uh, and different people in the industry. And um, you get all this happening, and now this is what we have left is the two fields for this season, right? So that's kind of what I touched on earlier in the, in the conversation. Um, Kai, what, where, what, so sorry. HPA for tournament gas mags for fun. Yeah, SpeakyB does do limited edition or limited class tournaments. So they have the full class, which is just whatever you want to use, Euro and everything in between. And then, of course, the limited class where you have to have at least two AEG rifles or DSGs or whatever. No HPA, um, one shotgun and one pistol, gas mag, green gas, all of that. Um, they do limit the amount of mags that you can run, which I feel like we can definitely do that up here. Uh, I know Roy had some issues, you know, working with Troy on getting up here. But now that Adam's taking over a little bit of management and organization at SCA, I feel like he's doing a really good job now for the fact that we are getting SpeakyB back in May and then July and then the champions in um, September or October. It's a done deal. Like, what? We could have been having that all 2022, all of last year in 2023, but now we're barely getting it back. It's just the drama behind the scenes. That's all it is in the NorCal scene. So it's, you know, it just kind of burns a lot of people out because they, the community also suffers. The community will also suffer. Um, NSL is great, but again, it's it's a business model that they're, they're in it for the money, right? You can see it. They've had a lot of issues just trying to grow to where, they, where, where they're at right now. Um, I feel like if, honestly, if they specifically also cater to not just their business side, but to what the community asks and the aspects of that uh, each community are, that'd be it. That's a done deal. That's a done deal. Kind of like what SpeakyB does. I know they're not, I think that, I don't think they're making too much money right now when it comes to um, hosting events at specific fields i think they break even or maybe maybe just to get some profit but they are also there for the community they do have some cash prizes and um they have their own spin on it which i feel like is fucking great <laughs> oh shit welcome everybody arc air sports to the stream oh what's up what's up bro hope you're having a good one uh what teams are left in norcal um, there are at least several teams left. I know there's the main four or five. You got KSM, Tacos, DVS, um, Asylum, of course. Um, we got some new ones, Outcast, uh, and then uh, DLM, of course. We got we got some teams out there. I think they're just the teams are growing. There's a lot of teams out there right now because of the NSL, because they can get 12 to 15 people on a team. I'm pretty sure those will subvert to you know smaller teams if there are more leagues out there in the future. <clears throat> yeah, I find the most fun part of Airsoft is tearing it up in a fast-paced indoor. That's always going to be a blast. Of course it is. Yes. Um, maybe a mag limit, but the rest, nah. Keep the AG stuff at home. That's that's where we have two specific leagues for it. So you have people who are um, specific with HPA. You got the unlimited class. And then, of course, you got the limited class where you test your skill. And that's what I like about the West Coast because it doesn't have a lot of influence, especially from SoCal. And that's where a lot of um, the uh, airsoft fields are at, where a lot of the um, the trends happen. So you got a lot of CQB sniping from Bacon, Valiant, Scotto. That was there. Uh, you got a lot of the one ball tournaments, right, that Blowback Masters has over at Project N1. That's also in SoCal. Those are the biggest trends out there. That's what I love about the West Coast. Um, let's see. What is what is Ben trying to do? Anyone want a gift card? Hey, does anybody want a gift card for the people that are in here? Anybody want a gift card? Be quick. Let's go. Yes, sir. Gift card. But if not, hit me up late to see what we can do for you. There you go. Hit up Blowback Masters if you want a gift card, people. I need the Blowback Kappa Mag thing. Keep procrastinating to get one. Um, Myth. Kai is asking you which team you play playing in NSL. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to go back in the chat. Win discounts. 
Da, 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 da. We're at least 35 minutes in the stream. I appreciate you guys for staying this long. You guys are wild. I'm going to try to stream a little bit more. Um, see what I can do a little bit more. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Used to play for Magflip and then the Devils. And I trained with Saviors here and there. Saviors is my favorite team in the, in the cell out there in the Netherlands. If I had an opportunity to fly out there, I would do it in a heartbeat. Fernie, where's the democracy? <laughs> For me as a Europe guy, uh, keep the invoice price low so we don't have to pay customs. <laughs> yeah, it does make sense because there, there's a, the customs prices, even post-COVID, are, are atrocious right now. Um, just have it declared as a gift. Yeah, that does work too. Uh, let me see. Going back, going back, going back on the chat. But the NSLs of the world bring that professional feel to the sport. Yes, so they do take themselves very seriously. I think that's where I feel like they kind of shoot themselves in the foot. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Because I feel like people here, the culture around speed soft and competing isn't at that point where the Netherlands is at. Where you know the European community is at. Uh, we're getting there, for sure. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of teams that want to play tournaments but some teams don't want to play the nsl format which is fine that's whatever they want to do whatever whatever like my team hsa they don't want to play nsl which i do not blame them one bit um especially since we have a lot of guys all over the country it um made it impossible for uh last season for a lot of our guys to travel all over just to you know try to keep up with all of these um tournaments for the nsl <clears throat> <laughs> um but yeah no it's just it's just uh it's it's finally nice to see that we're finally getting speaky be back we're getting some variety after what two years and um yeah oh uh real quick i do want to kind of mention um now that i'm kind of getting along through the entire um sorry now that i'm getting along through uh my channel here i did want to just make a quick mention i'll probably just mention this at some point after this week i'm no longer going to be with airtag customs we're just parting ways just not on a bad note but i just wanted i have more opportunities for myself to kind of grow as a content creator and then i also am getting a new job so um you know more power to them i, I appreciate you know hudson for working with me of course um but yeah that's it's just so the only sponsors i have right now are of course blowback masters and uh netbro Nepro, of course, being the old Cubby Soft guys, but yeah, no, no, no new sponsors, no new sponsors, no new sponsors. <laughs> uh, dude, I've been doing a ton of reviews for a lot of other brands right now, um, but like I said, I got a new job, I got like more freelance work, um, and then SCA wants to uh, Sac County Airsoft. Troy was talking with me about trying to do some other work for him too, so I'm just gonna try and concentrate on that. Um. Let me see. Where we are here. Evacuate civilians? No, that's gross. Um, no, I just want to lessen the workload. Um, I, I need to go where the money's at. <laughs> that's it. No, 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 no new sponsors. I know the only sponsors I have right now are just Blowback and Nepro. That's it. Those are the ones I only care about. I don't even think I'm going to go for any of the sponsors, honestly. And I noticed that as a content creator, I, I like I realized that I don't think Demo has that many sponsors or has sponsors in general. It's just people he works with. And I think that's just the way to go. That's just me. And that's just what I realized. Um, working with Novrich, Novrich is sending me the new SSR9 DSG. Um, I still got a bunch of stuff that they sent me in a bunch of boxes over there uh, that I still have to review. And then I'm coming out with a uh, with a review for the K Tactical Battle Belt Kit, which is fucking sick. Nepro Belt, one of the best I've belts I've ever had. Awesome, bro. I'm glad you I'm glad you enjoy it. SSR nine DSG on top. I'm gonna get that shit as well. Um, dude, I really want their P90. I want a P90 of some sort. <clears throat> All right, hold on. I gotta fight these guys. Ugh. Oh, 
Oh my god. What is that? Is that a gren is that a bomb? Why did I get <laughs> what what is going on? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. There's too much stuff happening. Oh, he, he got me. 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 Why is it so glowy? Oh, my God. I'm going to toss that over there because it's going to take some time for me to get it. Yeah, the quality control, I know a lot of people have concerns with. Um, the SSP5 was decent, but I, I was reading that some people had concerns about the the mags. Um, basically, they're all KGW-based, and they weren't uh, completely feeding. Oh, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. They weren't completely feeding into the pistol um, on occasion, so... Uh, mine worked perfectly well. I used it for Battle for LA, my first Milsim event earlier this month. It was pretty awesome. Um, oh, shit. Where'd he go? Oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah. No, they could definitely work on a little bit of their quality control. I know they came out with a video recently about them kind of going over all the con controversies. Oh, shit. And I got to go around this. Oh, my God. Bro's on my ass. I am not going to be able to take this dude down. I was trash. And I got fucking wrecked. Working on a date for the June at CQB City. What's up, Syndicate? <laughs> What's up, John? Um, okay. Yeah, no worries. Do it, bro. I, I know. Let's see. So NSL is having an event in May as well as Speaky Beat one of the weekends directly after the NSL. Um, June, I don't think there's anything going on. But that would be pretty cool to see Cynic out there again. Lame. Okay. Uh, but we coming back. It's good to hear. Good to hear. Good to hear. Speaking of which, if you guys haven't picked up your arc, man, you guys got to get on it. Stop sleeping on the arc. What are y'all doing? I know it might be a little pricey, but take it from me. If you want something that'll last you for a long time, oh, the arc is the one, baby. Um, let's see. Let's see. I am stuck playing solo. Wait, where's my pack? Oh, to my right. I'm on top of it somewhere. I'm on top of it somewhere. Oh, here it is. Give me my pack. Get me out of here. Oh, he got me midair. What? I am so... Am I cooked? Am I cooked? Am I cooked? Let's see. Yeah, the bunkers in the U.S. are definitely not the same as the ones in Europe. And that's what I was told from a few people out there. Um, another thing I want to touch upon, you know, with the NSL... Oh, shit. With NSL is... Uh, I feel like... Because, you know, certain people don't like it for what it is um, or people only play it because that's what they feel like they want to play. They feel that sense of purpose with, um, you know, the organization taking itself as seriously as it does. Um, it creates like some division. 
into the um, community. And I, I, I've kind of seen that a little bit in the United States where people are just more focused on to um, just playing um, hold on I am so distracted right now look I got this bile titan coming after me can I oh let's go let's go where is the where is oh, I gotta climb that where is the control station? I lost it. Dude, I lost the control station. I'm dying. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm cooked. New hop-ups and improved buckets dropping next week for the ARC. What's up, Mike? Uh, will be a free upgrade to all current ARC owners. Wow. You guys hear that? So that's what I like about the ARC team because they have that support. They know what the community needs. And um, they are willing to acknowledge uh, anything that goes on with the ARC. And they are willing to help wherever they can. That's 100% support. And 100% of support from my end, honestly, in my book. Um... You really don't get that in some of the current brands that are out there. I died again. You really don't get that in some of the brands that are out there right now because um, I can literally sit here and have this conversation about all of the brands that came up um, post COVID. And, you know, like I said, it's all just based on a business model and everything. Let me turn on those lights. <clears throat> Where am I? I'm just, I'm just playing to die, honestly. It's whatever. And, uh, <laughs> monk cough cough so i think it's possible to get one in europe um dude uh what's his name from spain got one uh kubi kubi got one in spain and then i think junkie just ordered his not too long ago excuse me all right boys if i die i die i need like a full team to play this mission on i don't even I had this and I didn't even use it. Fudge. All right, we're going to use it now. Carbon all the way. Like a carbon upper? Ah, uh, don't destroy my mech. I just got this. Took him like what seven shots? Oh, he's still alive? What the hell? Okay, there he goes. I was like, I was gonna say, it took more. Jesus, all these guys are chasing me. There we go. There we go. And, of course, I got these fire tornadoes that are coming after me. Can't really do much. I hate this planet sometimes. I am not. I'm not doing good here. Come on. This is horrible. So, um, after all that, I honestly just hope that, you know, we can be a little bit more consistent with trying to add more variety into the NorCal scene. Um, as aside from NSL, it's great. And I feel like people are just burnt out. I feel like that's where the community is at right now. There's some people, there are some players that are disgruntled and there are some people that just don't want to even touch NSL. They want a little bit more variety. And I get that. That's fine. But if we can avoid burnout and less focus on one particular league and just kind of go back to our roots, then, yeah, I think we can definitely thrive as a community. And one of the things is changing that goddamn layout at speed night at least every week or every uh, two or three weeks. It doesn't have to be every week, but 
at least something. People are kind of tired. And I've talked to a lot of the newer players too. People are, are really tired of playing the same NSL layout. Um, I know the the field owner doesn't want to change it, um, but I feel like we can definitely convince them with a little bit more of community support. That's that's where I'm at right now. That's where I'm at right now. Um, but you know, I haven't really been doing much. You ha like. I haven't been doing much with the whole speed night thing or anything um, just because of that. Oh, great. I gotta. Um, but that's all. It's, it's all honestly that it comes down to. It's it's I don't hate the league. I don't hate the organizers or anything. Um, I just think that, you know, we can definitely work on what we need to. Um, we just need a little bit more clearer communication. Why is everything just burning around me? I don't even think I'm going to get there. I killed everybody, but oh, there's more people coming now. Oh my god. these guys come from all right now I gotta go over here oh my fucking god and I got this fire tornado coming after me too bro my god um hold on let me just get this shit real quick there we go that's what i'm talking about all right let's reload no give me all right aj i'm gonna dip i have a race at 6 a.m and i still have a four hour drive ahead of me so have a nice rest of your stream as well and i'll talk to you soon brother yeah likewise bro stay safe um, have a good one man definitely um, it's really great seeing a lot of people that I haven't seen on the stream in a long time. Um, what's up, Rose? How you doing, bro? Um, it's it's great to kind of have that uh, discourse with a lot of players. Just kind of give me your opinions, man, because I, I want to hear what you guys have to say. And um, because, you know, when I'm on the field, I talk to a lot of people that are directly on the field that are, you know, directly close to me. Um, and those are just our opinions and I, it's not does not reflect all, the entire community So if you guys have something that you want to add, please or correct me where I'm wrong wherever anything that I discuss on Let's let's shoot the shit. Come on Um, let me see I don't even know if I can pass this level or this mission What did I get? Oh, another two. Oh! Oh! <laughs> doing good. How you doing? I'm just chilling, bro. bro. <clears throat> We're out here. Streaming again. Uh, definitely should start streaming a little bit more. And uh, kind of just get that going. But I need to beat this goddamn level on Helldivers. Is there... No, there's no nest there. No, it's over here. And I don't know why it keeps directing me into the wrong area. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> um, so where I'm at right now, I don't feel like NSL is currently really entirely worth it for me. Um, but it's going to take some time. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Maybe it might be a little bit better. Uh, it might not. Um, hold on, I'm just trying to avoid everyone all at once. Oh, I died. Okay, whatever, 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 whatever. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite platforms has got to be the Arc right now. And second to that has got to be the Article 1, right? And I am going to... Oh, wow. Hey, I landed on here out of nowhere. Uh, 
Where is... Oh, it's over there. That's game. That's game. And I, I thought I'd healed myself, but... GG's. Um, the Ark has got to be one of my favorite platforms right now. Um, I know it's a little bit expensive, but if you play a lot of tournaments, I think it's worth it. Uh, it works really well. Shoots ropes. Um, again, no lipo. That's one of the main selling points on the Ark. Um, it's got a lot of updated parts. They got a lot of great support. I think it's something that if you are really taking yourself seriously as a player for the tournament side of things, it's something to definitely look into. Or if you're just a casual um, collector, then yeah, that's one of the things that you can definitely get into. <laughs> I came back to mission field screen. Shut up, Nick. Article 1 is hands down my top two right now. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. Have that opportunity to play um, as much as you can. And with the arc, oh, baby that is the best one of the best platforms right now you've seen what i've done with my arc one or my article one um turn it into mtw that's what i did and i did it solely for the purpose of playing at battle for la it's great it's great um <clears throat> let's see i do want to touch upon uh, gas blowbacks at some point but we'll get there when we get there right uh, so I kind of want to just take this time just to kind of talk with you guys a little bit more about just a little recap what we were talking about the NSL um, because of the soul flirt. So, you know, NorCal as a whole has been stale for the past close to two years. We haven't had Speaky B. We haven't had Syndicate. Syndicate's a CQB city. They, can, they usually do it when they can. No fault to them. Um, but NSL, again, no fault to the organizers. But the the whole field itself has just been extremely focused and inadvertently sidelined a lot of the other leagues and events that could potentially uh, could have occurred over the last two years but it's just all nsl and in my opinion if that's if that's what you like that's cool but it uh, creates a, a form of burnout um and just there's no appeal to something that doesn't give back to the community um and my take on it is sorry and my take on it is that nsl is a business and they're going to operate as such and you probably seen if you guys know you know you've seen a lot of the stuff that happens in the background you'll see a lot of the stuff that is currently happening now there's some drama here and there but that's a given right that's going to be a given um i'm i'm seeing a good turnaround and i hope it stays this way and i hope it's consistent now that we have Adam on the on the the force of kind of managing and organizing and working with Speaky B and other events or whatever it might, you know, we have Speaky B finally coming back after two years. Crazy. Or a little over. It's fine. We're getting the community back. We're having more variety. That's what we need. We shouldn't just be f so focused on just trying to have one league specifically. Yes, they they we are a home field. And unfortunately, we are the only speed field in Northern California, aside from U.S. Airsoft. But that's like kind of in a butt fucking middle of nowhere. Great field, by the way, U.S. Airsoft. I know you guys are based all the way out there in Anderson. But four-hour drive just to go there, I would probably have to take a rain check and make it at least one day um, eventually. Maybe in the fall or something when it's not too hot. <laughs> because with a four hour five hour drive i could just go to um, socal and just play project n1 or play at tax city or whatever make it worth my while um <clears throat> that thing is beautiful and i need to get my hands on the arc for sure what's your opinion on the second okay so i have heard a little bit about the second to none monk drama bro i don't really have much of an opinion only because i know there's a lot more that goes in the background and i did see bert's story or his his um video the other week about his explanation on side of things but there are receipts and because of those receipts i'm like damn i haven't seen them but it's the biggest buzz right now and i and i feel like I knew this was going to happen. I not not specifically to second to none, but I knew this would eventually happen because of you know the the people that are currently in play with the organization and the way that things are and the way how they play out everything. I knew at some point it was going to be the way it is. People don't know how to let go. People just you know like to argue over toy guns. I don't know, man. 
like I said, there might be more to it. I only know the surface, and I can only speculate. Now, I I saw him when he went live uh, for Demi. Um, I would only assume that's probably his side of things because that stream happened like a few days after Bert's story. I didn't see it. Um, is it on his Instagram still? I'll probably check it out when I get a chance. But I did talk to um, I did talk to Andy, who usually talks to Demi fairly closely. Um, I heard there's some ring camera footage that it, that also is one of those receipts. So that's something like wow. No, it's not okay. Well, then shit. Anyways, um, yeah, no, uh, what's it called? Yeah, so NSL, they got some kinks to work out. Hope it's for the best, but uh, let's not just take our focus on the one league. Let's just try to, you know, provide back to the community. Because like I said, NSL is just a business. They're going to operate as such. They really don't have the specific community in mind. And... I can honestly say that because if you're not going to allow GoPros to try and further <laughs> my phone fell, if you're not going to allow GoPros to try and further, you know, um, uh, bring more awareness to the to the sport or to the league, then I don't know, man. I guess the reason is because of toxicity, but we don't really have that here, bro. We really don't. You can't just treat everything like cookie cutter. And, you know, the NSL does take accountability for those who really do shrug. A lot of other leagues like SpeakyB and CSL you know they they kind of turn a blind eye to shrugging and you see a lot of these top teams that shrug top teams that shrug <clears throat> and they end up you know taking the same place every time that's the name of the game if you shrug you know how to shrug then you're going to end up in a top three that's literally it but uh yeah nsl does have a lot more accountability to that um occasionally though some of the events if the refs aren't reffing and there's no point to having the organization or there's no point to having the event. It just kind of hinders, you know, their um, what they were about in the first place, right? I don't know. It's we're barely scratching the surface. I have no really, I don't have any high expectations for the scene in general. Uh, it's just it's just a process, and it takes the community to try. It takes you know all of us as a community to try and work on that as best we can. That too, the price increase here. Let me go back to my notes real quick. Let me go back to my notes real quick. Um, the price increase has definitely tried to, you know, I, I get it. Everything's expensive right now, but you're not going to get a lot of people trying to play with that, right? Um, there's real, real no incentive, incentive to play, really. It doesn't really give back to the players. And, um, you know, and one of the other things, too, is, you know, I see other regions of the country like LA, um, Indiana, Rhode Island, they are able to focus on other events where we can't. We are so lacking because of how much we focused on the NSL. And again, for those of you just joining now, it's not a bad thing. It's just our field just sucks. Our community sucks. We need to get better. And I believe we are getting there slowly but surely back to our roots. I, 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 I can't stand just looking at L.A. and seeing that they're having a lot of events. They have murder night. They have speed nights. They have regular sessions at Project N1, Tax City, able to host BQB, and uh, other events that are happening at, you know, Indiana, HTK. They're having, the, you know, their own sessions um, and everything, thanks to Pops and Shorty. I, I forgot what team they were on. I'm blanking out, but just blame that on the alcohol. <clears throat> how big is the speedsoft community in numbers in norcal uh i mean it's it's big i know a lot of people that play casually and they really do want to join an event but they don't want to play nsl because it's too many there's too many rules to it they're uh, they're new right nsl is great but it's not new it's not new player friendly so i have met a lot of people from GamePod. i met a lot you know a few people from aex i met a few people from uh cqb city and there's people there's people. They just don't want to go out there, especially when you, you got, like, the area that I'm from is a two-hour drive from the main fields. So that's also another that's also another killer. <clears throat> this isn't – overall, this entire stream is just more of an observation, not really much of a complaint. And it's just – again, these are just my opinions. And, um, you know, if you guys – 
feel a certain way, speak out. Let me know. What's up? Tell me what's up. I'm, I'm open and listening, and I am willing to have that discourse. You guys know me. Um, there's too much unnecessary drama in, in the airsoft scene for whatever reason. And I feel like if we had more discourse, then yeah, let's go ahead and make that happen. I kind of want to have that um, podcast pretty soon. But whenever that does get down, I like I said, I'm going to keep doing these streams for right now until I'm able to organize it with somebody. My opinion is that you should play Splatoon. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, glad that I only have a one hour drive uh, to real strike from Germany to NL. See, that's not bad. You got to go to America. If you haven't been to America, it's extremely ridiculously huge for no reason. <laughs> because we have all these places that we can drive to. And it's just like, uh, and then we have all these regulations. And then the, where the city that I'm staying at doesn't like having airsoft. I'm like, what? That's lame. Good old California. Speaky B. Yes, exactly. Speaky B 100%. Support local. Support your local events, leagues, people, organizations, please. That's just my opinion. But for now, play whatever you guys feel like you want to play, whatever your heart desires. This is AJ, and this is my stream. I appreciate you guys. It's already been an hour. I gotta cut it. Sh I gotta cut it here, boys. I'm going or a little over already. Um, but if you guys have more messages or need to reach out to me, please do, or just please leave a comment below. I'm so sorry for the ads. I don't know how many ran in the beginning or at least throughout the stream. <laughs> I love you too, Jason, but please hit me up whenever. If you got my number, text me. I got you boys. All right.